Hello, this is Bishop Garland Hunt. This is the Power of Hope devotional. Welcome back. I'm glad you're here with me. And I just am so excited about what God's doing. He really is. And I want to tell you a little story. Um, I, I, wanna, I guess my question today is, are you a champion? Are you a champion? Uh, if you don't mind me telling you a little bit about my history. I, I, I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. And I grew up during a time when... Um, my father used to take me to Atlanta Braves games because we were counting down the home runs as he was about to uh, break Babe Ruth's uh, record. And I remember we were looking for him to hit 7.15. I think Babe Ruth was 7.14, 714 home runs. And we were waiting on, uh, on uh, Hank Aaron to break that record. And, you know, it was different than being in the South, a black man about to beat Babe Ruth's record. So it was really hyped. And I remember we went to the game before he broke the record. That that particular game, he didn't hit a home run. But it was the next year, the next game, actually, he did. And I, well, I was disappointed, but was so excited. Everyone was so excited that Hank Aaron broke Babe Ruth's record. And just, it, so it lets me know. So, of course, I've, I've been um, uh, consistently a Atlanta Braves fan, even though I've lived in D.C., you know, pastor the church in Raleigh, North Carolina, but now back in the Atlanta area. So, of course, I, I had an opportunity to uh, get some Braves games. So, actually, the, the night before uh, this devotional, actually, I was, I was at a, a Braves game. And uh, so, you know, I had on my Braves hat, and I was ready. But listen to this. But this is what they gave out in a, um, in a game previously. And I don't know if you can see this, but this is a replica of the world champion Atlanta Braves 2021. See? I mean, it's beautiful, isn't it? Now, you say, wow, is that? So it's a replica. It's not plastic. It's very, very weighty. And I thought about this thing. I said, man, I, I, I cannot believe that the Atlanta Braves are world champions. But this is the question I have. Are you a world champion? Are you a world champion? I want to distract you with this, but I'll say you should be a champion because the scripture says that he's on your side. And let me, can I read this to you out of Romans 8? Because I want you to understand, you you have, you might not have a ring, but I'm telling you something, but God has a ring of crown of, of, of jewels all waiting for you because you're doing what's right. You're doing a right thing. I know that bling bling is hitting you, right? <laughs> but, but, but listen, your, but your righteousness is like bling bling. What you're doing for God is a bling bling. And so it, I love that here it says that the Holy Spirit helps us in our weakness. For example, we don't even know what we should pray for. But the Holy Spirit is praying for us. You even have the Holy Spirit rooting for you. Just like we're rooting for the Braves. I mean, we're rooting for you. And the Holy Spirit is. And then it says this. It says, that, and the Father knows all heart, knows all hearts. And what the Spirit is saying for the Lord, the Spirit pleads for us believers in harmony with God's will. The Holy Spirit is pleading for you, for, for believers. If you're a believer, the Holy Spirit is pleading for you. He is. And it says that verse 28 says, and we know that God causes everything to work together for your good. <laughs> and for those who love him and call according to his purpose. And then if you go down further, verse 31, you ready? I want to get in before my time goes. I want, I want it to be powerful, but this is how I want to end this. It says, what shall we say then about the wonderful things that are these? If God be for us, who can be against us? Come on now. If God be for us, you are a champion. If God be for us, you're, you're the head and not the tail. You're, you're above and not beneath. If God be for us, you, you win and you don't fail. And this just says, who dares to accuse us whom God has chosen for his own? And in the key James, it says, who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? See, God has gelled you to be a winner and not going to allow anything to defeat you. And it says this, it goes on further. I, I love this oh, other scripture. Hold on. This is the part that really, I'm going to end with this. I promise. I'm going to end with this. You know, see, I got the old fashioned Bible. But so you have to let me get to it. Of course, while I'm on air, of course, that's when the thing doesn't want to, uh, doesn't want to sh shake it. But this is what's it. Okay, here, here it goes. It says, can anything ever separate us from the Christ? Love. Does it mean that you no longer loves us when we're going through trouble or calamity, persecuted, hunger, destitute of danger? It says, for his, my sakes, we're cured every day. It said, but we, it, because of that, listen to what I want to say. When you get this, listen to this, say it with me. 
For though, nay, in all things, we are more than conquerors. We're more than a conqueror. We're more triumphant. We're more than a champion because you have been called. This has an A on it. I hope it's not backwards to you, but put your name. I'm a G. I should have a G on this for, for, for Bishop Garland or, or a B for Bishop. It doesn't even matter. Whatever your name is, you should have a ring like this because you are a champion. This is Bishop Garland. Huh? This is the power of hope and devotional. I'll talk to you, champion, next time.